Hello, I'm Dr. Sloop from Georgia Gwinnett College. Today we're going to learn about recrystallization. The components and materials necessary for this recrystallization are the Craig tube with plunger assembly and a small quantity of solid to be recrystallized, impure, and a centrifuge tube. The reason that we want to do a recrystallization is that we have procured some solid that is of insufficient purity to continue on to perhaps say a second step in a reaction or impure to the extent that we can't do a proper analysis. So what do we need to do this? Well, we've got a hot solution of water here in a sand bath heated to near boiling and we're going to take a little bit of this particular solvent and place into our recrystallization tube. Now when you're adding the solvent, it's important to remember that we want to use only enough of the hot solvent to completely dissolve the material. Too much and we may not be uh, able to have the uh, solid recrystallize too little and we may not get the solid into the solution state. Recrystallization is more of an art than a science. Choosing the right solvent is important because only the correct solvents will give highly pure crystals. This process may take anywhere from 5 to 30 minutes or more. So remember, patience is important. Don't rush the recrystallization. Well, I have a sample that has been successfully recrystallized and shown here you can see the crystals in the bottom and along the sides of the uh, vessel. And so now what we need to do is to isolate those crystals. We place the plunger into the top of the Craig tube and then we insert the Craig tube into the centrifuge tube by placing the centrifuge tube over top and allowing enough length of wire to extend out beyond so that we have a means of recovering the Craig tube assembly once we've finished centrifuging. So now... All right, notice in the centrifuge tube that we now have liquid down in the bottom and our solid is all suspended in the top of the Craig tube. We simply lift it out using our wire We're ready to conduct our analysis by taking this solid and doing whatever we need to do with it, whether it be a melting point, some sort of spectral analysis, or other analytical method. 